looking at these two teams, my attention is drawn to the front court matchup. Oh, yeah. This should be a battle on the baseline. Great to watch skilled bigs trade blows and show off what they can do down low. Now here's Durant. Pass to Booker. The three is up. Knocks down the long tail. Pretty swift release that time from Booker. Getting it away just in time. Towns outside. Here's Edwards. That's it. Coming off an assist from Towns. Well, he can beat you in a lot of ways. Very challenging to defend. Here's Booker. He's guarded by Conley. To the paint. Here's Nurkic. And Nurkic throws it down. Yeah, when he sets the pick, Nurkic can do different things on the roll. <laughs> Makes him hard to track. And so Conley will bring it up for Minnesota. It's a three-point game. Gobert with it. Nurkic picks him up. Back to Conley. From downtown. Out of bounds. Timberwolves ball as Minnesota keeps possession. We played just over a minute here in the first. Here's Edwards. And Nurkic with the block. Showing off the timing and awareness defensively. Better think twice before challenging Nurkic. And if I'm his coach, I'm very pleased with this kind of energy on the offensive glass. Textbook play. Now here's Allen. Back to Booker. Pass to Durant. Nurkic a screen on town. And Gobert with a block. Yeah, the long arms. It's difficult to protect your shot from Gobert's reach. Beal's shot is good. When he decides he wants to take it to the bucket, it's really hard for anyone to slow him down. Here's Conley. First quarter, just about two minutes in. Towns outside. There's the three. That one's good. And it's Conley who picks up the assist. It's all knotted up. Oh, the big man is smooth from range. Have to put a man on Towns, that's for sure. Nurkic, a screen on Conley. Here's Booker. And that one makes him two for two. He's in his rhythm. You know, I think this guy just loves the game of basketball. The preparation, the interaction with his teammates. He has fun out there on the floor. Stan, just how much of a catalyst has Mike Conley been since the Timberwolves got him? Well, just listen to his teammates, Brian. They talk about leadership, the adult in the room, and he remains a very capable two-way player. Now here's Allen. First quarter of play, and we're about three minutes in. Durant, no good. The Timberwolves have gone three of six from the floor. Conley up top. And Durant with the block. And for all the attention his offense gets, never question Durant's ability at the defensive end. Booker, no good. Won't see him miss that one too many times. Yeah, it was a great look. Sometimes they don't fall. You've just got to keep taking great shots. Now here's Edwards. Towns passes to Conley. Down to five on the shot clock. Down low. Here's Gobert. Nice assist and nice finish. Solid play all the way around. Outstanding job converting in close. Gobert understands how to execute around the rim. Here's Conley. Banked it in off the glass. And setting the tempo with an assertive move. Like, where was the defense on that play? Well, when you are the aggressor this early, it is intimidating. And so it's Booker with it. He brings it up for Phoenix. Trailing by two. Allen against McDaniels. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. First personal foul. First 
team. Fight. And a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for Minnesota. Well, the way they've been attacking inside is phenomenal. Consistently getting high percentage looks, and that's what great offenses are all about. And I just love playing on teams like this, passing teams. You can tell they really like playing with each other, and hopefully they keep this up. First free throw is good. Both free throws, good from Allen. Well, he's been very good at the line, and we all know free throws can make or break you in the end. Booker against Conley. Pass to Edwards. Let's the three fly. Kevin Durant pulls it in. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. That's good. His first made shot in three attempts. For Minnesota, they've gotten 50% of their shots to fall so far. They're 5 of 10. Gobert with a screen on Booker. Conley. And Gobert with the stuff. And you know he's tough on the glass. Easy money there for Gobert. the Suns shooting an excellent 56% in this quarter. Outside Durant. Allen against McDaniels. For three, Booker. Rudy Gobert with a rebound. Minnesota's gone one for three from beyond the arc. Towns. The shot off that time. Ooh, Durant with some nice D. Three-pointer, Beal. Perfect night so far, two for two. This speaks to the confidence Beal has in himself. Terrific work catching and firing off the catch. Timberwolves trail by three. A moment to hear from Ali LaForce. Well, I had a chance to talk with head coach Mike Budenholzer. He knows it'll be tough to score in the paint tonight. Gobert locks down the lane as well as anyone. He blocks shots, and then when you count up the numbers of shots he alters, you get a full picture of his dominance at the defensive end, guys. And Ali, thank you for that. Defensive player of the year four times over, Stan. Rudy Gobert tied for the record. Yeah, Brian, alongside Dikembe Mutombo and Ben Wallace, and Gobert's capable of getting another one, too, assuming his countrymen Victor Wimbenyama doesn't start taking the reins. O'Neal, he's checked in for Allen. And that one misses. Phoenix has gone two for three from outside the arc. Durant gets rebounded by Minnesota. Conley looking for an opening. Throws it up high. Hey, yo, Gobert inside. Nurkic is there. Gobert, no good. Outside Durant. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. And that's just incredible focus from the swingman. Durant is skilled at scoring despite the contact. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for Phoenix. Well, they're in a great flow. The ball's moving. All those assisted buckets means the offense is running well. Another area they've excelled in is the points in the paint. They've been able to gouge the interior defense so far in this one. Free throw, no good for Durant. When you look at the career of Kevin Durant, he's had an amazing list of teammates, Grant. Yeah, that's true, B.A. And it started with Westbrook and Harden. Then he had Steph, Clay, and Dre, Kyrie, and then Booker and Beal. That is quite the list. Timberwolves trail by three. From down low. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Stan, a late first-round pick in 2020. Jaden McDaniels, one of the top young two-way players in the league. Well, Brian, last season he was rewarded with a big money extension. His play tailed off just a bit, but still a key player for them moving forward. 
First one falls for him. O'Neal, he's checked in for a Kogi. And both free throws good for McDaniels. The Suns have gone 7 of 14 and looking in control. Outside O'Neal. Back to Booker. Over Conley. And once again, off the mark by Phoenix. Well, that wasn't a bad shot. Defense playing a little loose there. Sometimes it just doesn't go in. Pass to Towns. Shoots over Beal. Towns can't get it to go. And so Durant will bring it up for the Suns. Three-pointer. Hitting his third shot in seven looks. Oh, check out Durant with the wily pull-up. Striking when the defense least expects it. And Chris Finch calls timeout here. A moment to rest and confer on the game plan. Let's give Coach credit. He's trying to find a way to squeeze the most out of every possession. Well, that's the job, right? Your duty as a coach is to finesse your lineups so your guys get the best chance to succeed. Phoenix making a switch here. Morris is checked in. The Timberwolves also with a sub. Alexander Walker, he's checked in for Edwards. Here's Conley. Pass to Towns. Back to Conley. From deep. Gets the three ball to go. Conley's got five. Just a smart offensive player. Conley is aware of when he should look to rise and fire. Woo, I love it. Now Booker puts up a three. Towns with a rebound. Towns has got a rebound number five here tonight. Pass to McDaniels. Nurkic against Towns. Shot clock at five. Here's Alexander Walker. The kick out to Conley. Towns a screen on Morris. Second chance effort. And it's Conley getting it to go. He's got seven. Yeah, not just a jump shooter. Conley is also adept at finding real estate close to the rim. Phoenix has gone three of six shooting from beyond the arc. Booker, pass to Durant. Back to Booker. Fires the three. It's rebounded by Minnesota. Towns has got a six rebound on the night. On the wing, Alexander Walker. Booker defending. Towns looking for an opening. Offensive board. Here's Gobert. The kick out to Conley. Pass to Towns. Six to shoot. Here's Conley. Here's Gobert. And at last, they get one to fall. And the Timberwolves lead by three. Yeah, secures the ball off the glass. Does a nice job going right back up. Outside Durant. Outside O'Neal. And that comes off the assist by Morris. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. Pass to Alexander Walker. Back to Conley. Inside. Knocked away. It's stolen by Nurkic. To the middle. Here's Durant. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Durant's got nine. You gotta push Durant farther away than this, or he will make you pay. There's a minute 40 left in the first quarter. Towns outside. Back to 
Conley. Pass to McDaniels. Connects from downtown. Five points in the game. Look, if you're open, Conley sees you. That was a great pass. Here's Booker. He's got five. Now O'Neal. Back to Booker. Let's it go from deep. Gets rebounded by Minnesota. The green light they gave him early should probably turn red. He needs to get others involved. Outside Conley. Pass to McDaniels. And there's a pick. Excellent D there from O'Neal. The Suns trailing. Ran against Towns. Back to O'Neal. Pass to Morris. Jacks up a three. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. Towns has got seven rebounds in the game. To the inside. Outside Conley. No good with a layup. And so it's Rudy Gobert making things happen for Minnesota. He had solid production this quarter with scoring and rebounding. All right, stick around. We'll be right back after this. And it's been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play. All right, let's quickly break down the game. What we've seen so far from the Timberwolves, guys. Well, it's pretty obvious. I mean, cashing in on extra opportunities. That's how they built this early lead. Yeah, you can bet their coach is encouraging them to keep up the extra effort. It's more than paying off. And it's Edwards with a ball for the T-Wolves. Setting the floor for the Timberwolves. We've got Nas Reed, Anthony Edwards out there with Dillingham. Then it's Joe Ingles, and it's Garza in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Two points. That one goes. Just a ferocious play by Edwards, taking the contact but staying committed to his finish. Suns trail by three. Deal with it. Oh, screen on Edwards. Beal surveying the D. Six on the shot clock. Counted from distance. Beal's got eight. I mean, capable of playing either guard position, Beal is especially difficult to contain in pick and rolls. Outside, Ingles. Reed sets a screen. Ingles passes to Reed. Here's Dillingham. Reed is screen on Jones. And here's Dillingham from the arc. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. And both teams running long-range plays that are working. Well, you know it's become a three-point shooting league. Teams shooting a steady diet from outside. Now here's Jones. Still no points. There's a screen by Bull to the middle. Stolen by Reed. Outside, Ingles. It's Edwards on the wing. And they're going to count that bucket, and they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. I don't know how Edwards does it. It's a blend of skill, finesse, and a little bit of luck that that went down. And he'll be shooting his first free throw. Miller's checked in for Minnesota. Dozier comes in for Ingles. Free throw, no good. And the rate of player ejections going up in recent season stand. Well, Brian, players these days certainly have a voice in a lot of things. And when it comes to critiquing officials, they're not shy. 
we see complaints on virtually every call in games now, and the referees seem to have had enough of it. Dunn, he's checked in for Phoenix. Lee comes in for Gillespie. Minot's checked in for Minnesota. Ingles comes in for Dozier. Minnesota leading by five. And they're dialed in offensively. Sure are. Staying in attack mode and at the same time playing under control. Time now to hear from our reporter, Allie LaForce. Bradley Beal is settling in as one of multiple stars in Phoenix. He said, it's been an adjustment for sure. You go from being very ball dominant to now you share the dominance. And it's a sacrifice and also an adjustment of learning a totally different role. Brian, he says it's a process, but one he embraces. Yeah, good point. Thanks, Allie. And you like the balance here, not just falling in love with the three ball. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. Edwards looking for an opening. Pass to Ingles. The Timberwolves need to get off a shot here. Three can't hit. Suns trail by three. Here's Lee. He's scoreless. Back to Beal. Pass to Plumley. Here's Lee. Beal from outside. No good. Three for four in the game now. Minnesota leading by three. Outside Edwards. And it's going to be a three-second call. A different look for Phoenix. O'Neal, he's checked in for Dunn. And it's Booker in for Lee. The Suns have got two of three shots to go in the second. And Mike Budenholzer decides to call a timeout. He's going to talk it over with his guys. In the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. O'Neal passes to Plumley. Beal outside. Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. I like when Beal looks to score inside because it forces the D to get physical with him. Phoenix shooting their fourth and fifth shots at the foul line in this game. And he makes a first. Bowl, he's checked in for Phoenix. And Beal drops them both. And so it's Conley who brings up the ball for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Pass to Edwards. And he was camped in the lane there. He gets a three-second call. Phoenix has gone one of two from deep in the second quarter. Allen outside. Fires from deep. Minnesota with a rebound. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. And Coach, how about Nas Reed, the 2024 Six Man of the Year award winner? Yeah, Brian, sort of unique. We often associate that award with shooting guards, but although he's a big, 
Reed is more than capable of putting up big numbers, including from long distance. Misses. Well, some great scores in the NBA right now, Stan. Anyone you think doesn't get enough credit for their offensive talents? Wow, Brian, that is a tough question. So many guys putting up such big numbers right now. Devin Booker maybe still a little overshadowed by Kevin Durant. De'Aaron Fox maybe overshadowed by Sabonis. And Tyrese Maxley certainly is overshadowed playing with Embiid. Clock at six. Here's Conley. It's good from the top of the key. Conley's got nine. Well, Conley has that steady floor general demeanor. They love to have him run in the pick and roll. Oh, yes, and it's Booker with the setup. And it's a tie ball game. Yeah, showing off that ability to stretch the floor. Seems like everyone is a threat at the arc these days. Reed is screen on Booker, and it's stolen by Plumley. Three on three. Here's Beal. And stolen by Edwards. Pass to Reed. Outside, Alexander Walker. Outside, Edwards. Clock at four. Shoots over Beal. Edwards, no good. Phoenix has gone two of four from the perimeter in the second so far. Plumley with it. It's Booker on the wing. Allen outside. Pass to Bowl. Back to Allen. And here's Beal from behind the arc. And Conley grabs the miss. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. And it's Phoenix for the rebound. Beal left side, driving to the basket, and there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's on Anthony Edwards. And there's just so much variety to Beal's game. I mean, he's great off the catch and in transition. And right there, making a play off the bounce. And he'll take his third and fourth free throws of the night. Drops in for him. Kevin Durant, he's checked in for bowl. Carl Anthony Towns has checked in for Minnesota. McDaniels comes in for Alexander Walker. And he makes both free throws. And Chris Finch calls time out here. He wants to give him a breather and talk things over. Kogi's checked in. The Timberwolves trail. Outside Edwards. Back to Conley. Allen against Edwards. Gobert with a screen on Allen. And here's Edwards outside. Anthony Edwards reigns one in. Well, this is why Edwards is a nightmare for defenses. He can drive right through you or pull you apart from range like this. Pass to Plumley. Now here's Allen for three. Oh, wow. Drew the contact, and that three almost went in. So he'll go to the line for three free throws. It's on Anthony Edwards. At 
free throw good from Allen. Good on the second one. And coach, you've been lauded by some of your former players for your pregame preparation. I've seen it myself in the broadcasting world. Well, I've also been cursed by some of those players for my pregame walkthroughs, Brian. People thought they were way too long, but I just wanted to be as prepared as possible and was one that always believed I'd rather do too much than too little. Minnesota has gone 5 of 10 from beyond the three-point line in this game. Towns outside. Pass to Edwards. Just five on the clock. Now here's Gobert. Fires for three. Towns can't get it to go. I mean, he's trying to shoot his way out of what's becoming a prolonged cold streak. Yeah, I get it. But you don't want enforcing things. It's better to get your shots within the flow of the offense. Here's Conley. After the basket by Phoenix on the other end. Towns outside. Pass to Conley. The floater. And stolen by Durant. Allen against Edwards. Allen, pass to Booker. Oh, Booker in close! There's something that is great about Booker. He doesn't take all outside shots. I mean, Devin can score it inside, too. Inside, Gobert. Ooh, coming through again. Shooting five for seven now. They're punishing those late defensive rotations. Getting good looks inside throughout the half. So it's Phoenix now. They lead by four. To the paint. And there's Plumley on the assist from Hooker. That's just a great pass. Excellent vision to see the open spot in the defense and lead him to the score. Allen against Edwards. Allen's way outside. Okogi pulls down the board. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. It's Booker on the wing. He's guarded by Conley. Durant for three. And it's Gobert with a rebound. Gobert's got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Towns gets the bucket. Nice positioning and footwork on point. And Towns so smooth down there inside. The Suns lead by four. Booker, the pass to Durant. Over Towns. Again, the Suns good for two. He can't ask for a better look. And he capitalizes. Pass to Edwards. Outside Conley. Outside Edwards. The three is up. Yes, great play by Conley to set it up. Edwards has got 10 points now, just in this quarter. Well, look, Edwards plays with a lot of confidence, which makes him deadly off the catch. For Phoenix, they've gotten 8 of 13 shots to fall in the second quarter. On the take, Booker. Soft touch off the glass. And the Suns lead by 5. Able to get a layup out of that one. That's just soft defense there. Here's Edwards. 14 points for him. Pass to Towns. And Gobert with the stuff. When Gobert is close like that, you know he's going to try and ram it through. A minute 58 left in the first half. Allen outside. Now Durant. Here's Okogi. And here's Allen. He's got seven. Conley, a screen on Conley. Booker for three. Count it. That's his sixth field goal in 12 tries. If there's anything Booker can't do on a basketball court, I want to know all about it. Because tonight, he's doing it all. Towns outside. Back to Conley. 
McDaniels passes to Conley. And here's McDaniels. And he stays with it. Back to Conley. Towns on a screen. Just five to shoot. Hits McDaniels on the wing. Shoots over Booker. Solid shot from a distance of about 14 feet. McDaniels got seven points in the game. The Suns lead by four. Allen outside. Back to Booker. And out of bounds. Minnesota will have it. Phoenix making some changes. Yusuf Nurkic comes in for Plumley, And it's Bradley Beal in for Okogi. Clark is checked in for the Timberwolves. Timberwolves trail by four. Now here's Conley. He's got nine. And it's Clark on the take. Good on the bucket. Well, you love the unselfishness. Makes the next pass and enables his team to capitalize on the possession. Here's Booker. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and game clock. And then Beal with the dunk. Three-level score. Beal can make every type of shot, and he's made a lot of them tonight. And we've got 28 seconds left in the first half. Outside McDaniels. Sixteen seconds left in the first half. Five on the clock. Here's Conley. Here's Gobert. It's hauled in by Beal. Over Clark. Hits the rim on the way in, and the bucket is good. Sixteen points for him. And so it's Phoenix leading by six as we wrap up the quarter. Getting lots of great looks. Shooting it well. That's why they're up. Back after this. We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple of quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. How about Bradley Beal having a dominant impact in this game? He's been excellent at cutting through the defense and giving them fits around the basket. Well, I just love his fearlessness so far. He's charging inside like no one can stop him. Beal and Allen are out on the wing. KD and Nurkic are the big man for him. And it's Booker in at the one spot. That's who's out there for Phoenix. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Well, Brian, a lot of teams are staying clear of that dreaded second apron of the luxury tax. But the Suns, they blew right past it, adding Bradley Beal to create a star trio. Kevin Durant said, quote, that's what you're supposed to do. It's about swinging for the fences every year. They're looking to go the distance. Every year, you're right. Talent is there, Allie. Good from Nurkic. And he can't hit the second. Timberwolves trail by seven. Pass to Conley. Towns fades. Durant pulls it in. Now here's Booker. He's guarded by Conley. 
heel against Edwards. Heel, no good. Minnesota's gotten six of 13 shots to go from outside the arc. Down low. Oh, Gobert hammers it home. At the offensive end, Gobert isn't always this aggressive, so it's really good to see. And so it's Booker with it. He brings it up for the Phoenix Suns. It's a five-point game. Nurkic passes to Booker. He hits again. Seven for 13 and looking confident. Probably a play they drew up in the locker room at half. Yeah, I like how they're establishing their interior presence right away. That's going to collapse the defense and create other opportunities. Well, Grant, if you talk about consistent top-level scores, Devin Booker is near the top of that list. Yeah, and going back to the 17-18 season, Devin has averaged at least 25 points every year. Booker can create his own shot and finish. It's hard finding guys who can do both. Shot clock at six. Here's Conley. And that one's on target from the wing. Conley's got 11 points. Phoenix leading by five. Beal outside. Nurkic, a screen on Edwards. Here's Beal. Pass to Nurkic. And the shot goes. Five points in the game. Yeah, in the paint, Nurkic can be a monster. He's got all the physical gifts he needs to dominate. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Conley finds McDaniels. Now here's Towns. And here's Conley. That's his six make and 11 tries. Assertive move. You can tell the game's heating up a bit. Phoenix has gone 7 for 17 from three-point range so far in this matchup. Durant against Towns. And Booker puts up a deep three. Goes back up. And it's Nurkic getting it to go. Nurkic has got five points now in the quarter. And for Nurkic, one of his key attributes, the ability to keep the play alive on the glass. Back to Conley. Outside McDaniels. And a miss there on the triple. The Suns lead by seven. To the paint. Floats one. And that's just too close for KD. He finishes inside. Oh, Durant reached deep into the bag of tricks on that one. I mean, I'm not surprised by any shot he hits these days. Towns outside. Takes the three. And it's Phoenix with a rebound. Nurkic just got nine rebounds now. Allen, pass to Nurkic. And Nurkic throws it down. Oh, too easy for Nurkic. A big man who goes up strong. You have to meet him at the rim and counter his aggression. Now Conley. He's got 13. It's Edwards on the wing. Jam. Yeah, Edwards has some big bounce in his step. The Suns have gotten five of seven attempts in the third quarter. And Booker puts up a deep three. And the three off target. Timberwolves trail by nine. Inside. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. A chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the Suns. Well, they've been absolutely on fire from deep. And until the defense offers more resistance, the coaches are going to keep encouraging them to let it fly. Yeah, another thing they did well, running the floor. They've kept the pace high and pulled away with their transition offense. The first one falls.
he drops them both. Phoenix leading by seven. Beal with it. 16 points for him. To the middle. Here's Nurkic. And Nurkic throws it down. Oh, not the defensive effort they need to cut into the lead. Boy, good call. You have to at least try to protect the rim. Yeah, I'd consider time calling out, time timeout out. right away after that one. The defense has to be better there. And Chris Finch calls timeout here. He wants to review the game plan. against Edwards. Pass to Conley. Launches it. Oh, that bucket gives him his seventh field goal in 12 tries. And we're so used to seeing Conley as the facilitator, but tonight, his number is being called. And Booker's got the ball here for the Phoenix Suns. Here's Nurkic. McDaniels with the rebound. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. It goes on Grayson Allen. down the first one. Good on both. Here's Beal. 16 points for him. Side. Back to Beal. Nurkic a screen on Edwards. Pass to Nurkic. Man, look at Nurkic using his physique on offense. Taking his shot and drawing a good foul. He's made one and missed one so far at the line. Good from Nurkic. And Minnesota making a change here. He makes one or two that time. Timberwolves trail by five. Here's Edwards. Yes! And the foul! It's going to be on Bradley Beal. They've been aggressive during this run, but they've also played under control. Yeah, you know, I like how they're not relying on just one guy to get it done. They're sharing the ball and keeping the defense guessing. Alexander Walker, he's checked in for the Timberwolves. They throw good, Edwards. And stand while Edwards has pushed back. It hasn't stopped others from comparing him to his heirness, Michael Jordan. And that talk is more about how his game reminds one of MJ and less about greatness. Edwards' career is just getting started. On the catch and shoot, Durant is so effective. You have to run him off his shot. Edwards, a pass to Conley. Shoots over Booker. And Conley gets it to go. The assist from Edwards. Edwards got six assists now in the game.
The Suns have gotten seven of their first 11 attempts to go in this half. Here's Durant. Towns with a rebound. Towns has got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Pass to Edwards. To the inside. It's stolen by Nurkic. Up top, Allen. Guarded by Edwards. Allen, the pass to Beal. There's a screen by Nurkic. Down low. And Nurkic throws it down. Oh, what ferocity on the throwdown. I just love when he goes up with purpose. Where was the D right there? The effort lacking big time. And with the score as close as it is, these are the opportunities you truly can't allow. Alexander Walker, the pass to Gobert. Pass to Towns. Gobert with a screen on Durant. Back to Gobert. And Gobert with the stuff. And just so mobile at his size. Once Gobert sets the screen, he rolls hard to the right spot. The Suns have gone 8 of 13 in the second half. What balance from Booker. Timberwolves trail by four. And Chris Finch calls time out here. He's going to gather the troops and talk it over. Nice game. Great performance by Devin Booker. He's been on a mission, attacking the basket all game long. I'm curious to see what adjustments they can make. O'Neal, he's checked in for Phoenix. The Timberwolves also with a sub. Ingles is checked in. Here's Conley. 20 points for him. Gobert with a screen on Booker from deep. Conley. It's hauled in by the Suns. They've led by as many as 11. Inside. Stolen by Ingles. Three on three. Edwards against Beal. Edwards, a pass to Towns. Ingles, a screen on Booker. Booker against Conley. Over to the left wing. Clock is at three. Gobert, no good. And we talk about the importance of protecting the rim. Right there, outstanding Beals. Gotta be cautious guarding Beal because he's skilled at drawing contact while shooting. He's had four chances at the line. He's made them all. No good on that one. And Minnesota with some changes. Reed comes in for Gobert. And Clark has subbed in for Edwards. And he sinks the second. And so Connolly will bring it up for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Trailing by five. Pass to Ingles from the arc. O'Neal pulls it in. <laughs> Just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. And here's Nurkic. And here's Beal. Clark covers. Nurkic a screen on Clark. Beal against Clark. Parked it down low that time. Got hit with the three-second call. Timberwolves trail by five. 
And here's Conley. 20 points for him. There's the triple. Clark, no good. Phoenix has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Yeah, just an offensive machine. Booker generates points consistently, night in and night out. It's his first trip to the line. And he drops the first. Both teams will make substitutions. That one misses. Timberwolves trail by six. Now here's Ingles. No made basket yet. Pass to Reed. Fades back. Igadaro grabs a miss. And the Suns shooting a terrific 58% from the floor. Neal draws the double. Now here's O'Neal. Wide open. Bounces high off the rim and drops. O'Neal's got five now. And they're playing rock solid basketball right now. Really starting to see that lead grow. Well, that third quarter is when you want to increase your lead. Really building it up before that final quarter. And Minnesota with possession here. Ingles passes to Towns. Misses, and the dry spell continues. The Suns lead by eight to the paint. Here's Booker. Up and in on the layup. Booker's got 21. And they're refusing to take a break, even with a nice lead. They just continue to attack. You have to love it. Yeah, to put together this kind of performance at both ends of the floor on the road, it's impressive. And Minnesota with possession here. After the basket by Phoenix on the other end. Here's Ingles. The bank shot, no good. And it's Phoenix's ball. Durant for three. Oh, Durant, an absolute sniper. Yes, yeah, smooth and focused. KD is so polished, so prolific. Reed to screen on Booker. And here's Dillingham from the arc. Buries it from three. He has six. When you get faced up at one end, you want to get it back at the other. Bit of a duel going on between them. Came down the floor looking for immediate people. Now here's Booker. 21 points in the game. And again, it's Phoenix from deep. Exchanging buckets from downtown. That's been a staple of tonight's game. Yeah, sometimes you get in a shootout like this, but you just hope that you can get a stop first. Here's Reed. Pass to Dillingham. And stolen by Booker. Deal with it. Clark covers. Igadaro, no good. And gearing up for the alley-oop, just couldn't finish the play. Well, it's not easy to time that up. Just not quite in sync with that. Terrific ball movement leading to the basket. You love to see it. Outside Booker. Over Dillingham. And it's good. Off the back rim and in. Booker's got 12 points in just the second half. And this is what you want to do when you've got a big lead. You must stay aggressive. Yeah, they're being absolutely relentless. Building this lead in every way possible. Devin Booker. He's feeling it tonight. He's been the driving force for the Phoenix Suns. Totaling 26 points and showing no signs of letting up anytime soon. Time for a quick break, then back to the action. point has not been an evenly fought contest.
Phoenix leading by 13. Setting the floor for the Timberwolves. We've got Edwards, also Dillingham out there, and it's Miller in at the four. Humley finds Allen. Here's Booker, and it's blocked by Edwards. Well, I love whenever Edwards is disengaged defensively. Excellent job coming up with the block. Miller outside. Six on the shot clock. Here's Dozier. Booker defending. And that one's good. Dozier. See, now that layup isn't possible without the help of the pick. Well, Phoenix is shooting at around 60% on this one. Very efficient. Humley a screen on Edwards. For three, Booker. It's rebounded by Minnesota. Pass to Edwards. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. And it's going to go on Devin Booker. Well, we know Edwards has an outstanding skill set, but what makes him truly special is his competitive will and ability to handle high-pressure moments. First free throw is good. Bowl, he's checked in for Phoenix. Lee comes in for Jones. And that's good as he hits both shots. Phoenix leading by nine. Played just over a minute here in the fourth. Allen outside. Three-pointer. And once again, off the mark by Phoenix. The Timberwolves shooting it well. Almost 50% for the floor. Allen against Edwards. Fires the three. And it's Phoenix for the rebound. Bumley's got his fourth rebound in this one. Booker looking around. Outside bowl. Tipped away. Six to shoot. The three. Booker. The rebound by the Timberwolves. He continues to let it fly, but the makes have been few and far between. Pass to Edwards. Well, when Edwards gets this hot, all an opponent can hope to do is limit the damage. And Booker's got the ball here for the Suns. Looking to get on the board here in the fort still. Beyond the arc. And it's Dozier with the rebound. Timberwolves trail by seven. Pass to Garza. Here's Dillingham. Lays it up and in. Credit the hard work coming back. They're doing their best to steal this game. Yeah, look. They've shown great resolve to work their way back into this one. But they're not done yet. They're going to have to grind it out. And Mike Budenholzer decides to call a timeout. He clearly wants to talk it over and make sure everyone is focused. Okogi's checked in for Lee. And Minnesota making a change here. Let's check in with our reporter, Ali LaForce. Over that last break, guys, I got a chance to hear what Mike Budenholzer said to the team. He loves what the D has been able to accomplish, saying to his team, every turnover is a big success for us. Keep forcing those errors. Don't let them feel comfortable out there. So expect them to keep trying to be disruptive. Great work, Allie. Thanks. Now here's Bowl. Pass to Allen. Just four to shoot. Win the drought. Oh, good D by Edwards. Timberwolves trail by five. Conley up top. Back to Miller. Conley with the ball. 
Here's Dozier. Here's the three. He drops it from range. Dozier's got five points now in the quarter. And I'll tell you, this thing looked pretty much over heading into the fourth, but give them a lot of credit for fighting their way back. The Suns have gotten nothing to go so far in the fourth. They're 0 for 6. Pass to Allen. Holds. Green on Edwards. To the middle. That's good from Bowl. On the assist by Allen. And the Suns lead by four. Very important points. I mean, they're trying to hang on to this lead now. They needed that. Reed to screen on Booker. Now Conley. Reed sets a screen. Takes a three. And no good. Phoenix leading by four. Inside. Here's Bowl. And finished off by Bowl. It's those kind of passes that bring up the entire team's confidence. Minnesota has gone one for three in the fourth quarter from range. Connolly passes to Edwards. Misses the three. Phoenix has got nothing to fall from outside the arc here in the fourth. 0 for 4. Allen with a screen on Conley. Oh, there's the alley! And it's Allen who slams it home. <laughs> and the lead increases on a crazy offensive sequence. Man, the dunk alone would have been incredible, let alone the fact that it came off a pinpoint pass. Timberwolves trail by eight. Pass to Edwards. Over Allen. Can't hit the step back, Jay. The Suns have gotten just three of nine shots to go in, struggling this fourth quarter. Here's Bowl. And it's finished off by Bowl. They're really settling into a nice rhythm now, starting to gain the upper hand. Yeah, you're seeing their offense in a flow. Now it's time for their defense to turn up the heat a little more. Now here's Conley. Pass to Reed. No good off the front rim. And it's Phoenix's ball. They've gone on an 8-0 run. And here's Bowl. Here's Dozier. Left side, Conlon. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. I like seeing Conley look for his shot because it puts defenses in compromising situations. And it's a completely new group for the Suns. And Conley drops them both. Durant with it. Beal outside. Durant inside. Covered by Towns. And some solid defense from Towns. Outside. Ingles. Pass to Towns. Outside Edwards. From outside the arc. Hits the trifecta. Edwards got 26. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. Yeah, it's certainly worth it to disrupt the offense. Coaches notice that extra effort. The Suns lead by five. And here's Jones. Outside Durant. Over Towns. Edwards pulls it in. Edwards has got a rebound number five here tonight. Pass to Conley. Now here's Towns. Clock 
at six. And he wills that one in, sinking it right through the back of the iron. And now just a three-point Phoenix lead. Now Nurkic. Done outside. Pass to Durant. No good. Had a chance to end the run there. To the inside. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Towns. A different look for Phoenix. Allen, he's checked in for Dunn. And it's Devin Booker in for Jones. And the Timberwolves also making a change. McDaniels has checked in for Ingles. And Booker has got the ball here for the Phoenix Suns. Beal outside. Back to Booker. Pass to Beal. Durant with it. The three. That one falls. Coming off Beal's feed. Beal's got six assists now in the game. Yeah, the single-minded focus of Durant on offense. It's all about getting buckets, no distractions. And here's Edwards outside. And it's Phoenix with a rebound. Nurka just got rebound number 12 now. Tenacity on the glass. Allen, pass to Beal. And here's Nurkic for three. Another three for Phoenix. Things are going his way so far offensively. Nurkic really rising to the challenge of this defense. Here's Conley. Outside Edwards. Outside McDaniels. The Timberwolves again can't hit. The Suns lead by nine. Here's Booker. A tad short, but it's good off the front iron. Booker's got 28. Yeah, Booker sees how they're defending him and just takes what's there. Pass to Edwards. Outside McDaniels. Now Towns. Allen defending. Outside Conley. Four on the clock. And the three-pointer goes. Conley's got five points now in the quarter. Yeah, and for Towns, great awareness at the offensive end. Phoenix has gone two of six so far in the fourth. Allen, pass to Booker. Releases. Gets rebounded by Minnesota. The three ball. Phoenix grabs the miss. Nurkic has got 13 rebounds in the game. Glass eating. And Jade McDaniels picks up the foul. That's his third foul of the game. And that shot was going nowhere thanks to that aggressive swat. Yeah, I love that they maintain the defensive energy even when they're behind. Beal finds Booker. 14 feet away. And another basket for Phoenix. No question. Booker excels at finding shots. He can be a real point machine. Here's Edwards. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. Plays like that, so easy for him. minute 58 left in the game. Booker against Conley. Nurkic is screen on Conley. Here's Booker. And the Suns getting another bucket right there. Awfully tough play to defend. When you honor the roller, Booker just takes advantage. Heel against Edwards. Rebounded by Nurkic. Nurkic is Phoenix leading by nine. 
Here's Booker. And he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. Booker's got eight here in this quarter. Having his way with the defense, Booker creates separation and nails the shot. Edwards for three. Nails it from three. Well, it's a three-point shooting league. Guys like him are so important for space. Booker for three. Edwards pulls it in. Minnesota shooting about 48% from the floor. Pretty good. Conley finds Edwards. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Uh, he's built like a linebacker, Edwards is. So tough to stop. the gap to seven. And both free throws good for Edwards. And those were big shots. At this point in the game, you can't afford to leave any points at the line. And an intentional foul right there. Second team foul. Forty four seconds left in the fourth quarter. Beal outside to the paint. Nice dish, and the layup goes down. And the Suns lead by eight. Really feels like they're in control. They've got a big lead with time dwindling. Yeah, and at this point, the focus is take care of the ball, no needless fouls, and no threes. Now a timeout called by Minnesota. They trail by eight. Let's hear from our analyst. Give us your take on the strategy being discussed right now. It's hard to say whether they have enough time for a quick shot and a foul. There's 37 seconds left in the fourth. Gobert with a screen on Booker from deep Conley. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. 13 points was their biggest lead of the game. Pass to Booker. Nurkic a screen on Conley. Booker fires from way outside. Can't connect from long distance. Minnesota with the ball. Eight point game. Here's Towns. Let's go with a three. So Phoenix wins it. A competitive game. You have to feel like this crowd gave him a little extra edge. Yeah, they really fed off the energy. You saw their activity level go up. Just a tremendous performance. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Stan Van Gundy, Grant Hill, and Ali LaForce, I'm Brian Anderson, thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. And we present the player of the game, Devin Booker.